Actually, suppose the first thing, let me check my mode first. Okay, can. First thing you do is that you press the Y equal button. Top left hand corner, this one now. Suppose you should see this. Huh? You, inside somehow there's anything left behind, then you go and delete. Huh? Uh, first thing I would like you to do is to now is to tap in the result in part B. The result in part B. Huh? So five, zero, one, zero, zero. Then bracket. One point zero zero two to the power n, uh, but to the power n, the n just replaced by x. Uh, to the power this one, then x. Uh, uh, then move up, and then minus one, then close bracket. Uh, this one type in under y one. Uh, type in, uh. Uh, we are not going to see the graph. Okay, we are going to generate a table. Okay. Um, so we're going to see uh, what value on x such that the y value um, become a value that is more than 5,000, the first one. Huh? So to obtain the table, can you see here this small blue pin here, uh, table. Huh? So to obtain the table is press second graph. Okay, uh, then something like this. Huh? Actually, by right, I think it should start from zero. Okay, but somehow maybe last time I, I last time I start at five, so therefore you see start from five. Ah, so what happens is that you just use the arrows to go down. Okay, you can see the second column, the value not yet lah, huh? not yet. Like this, not yet, huh? So you just keep on pressing this, huh? until this is uh, five thousand. Huh? Now here maybe I also tell you one more. Uh, one more um, method is that if sometimes the value goes very very slowly it's very far away from our target like 5000 let's go very very slowly you are not patient okay you know that the the x will be quite large okay when the y um, become a value more than 5000 for that case right you don't want to keep on pressing like this follow me uh, this one uh. this one now uh, we go to change the table now can you see this one there's a table set you press the second window. Second window, huh? This is uh, basically by default the increment uh, on the x, uh, which is the n, uh, will be one. Okay. So if you follow this uh, default setting, you will be very slow here. So what you can do is that you can come down to here. This is the called the delta. Delta means the change, change on the table uh, values. You can see this one, huh? So you may now. Um, Okay, maybe here I change to 20 first. Okay, then this is where we start. Then use the arrow here and come down to here. Uh, change to 10, uh, every time maybe increase by 10. Uh, uh, let it go a bit faster. You know where to go? Second window, come to here, maybe change this one. Uh, from one, maybe change to five or change to 10. Change to 10 first. Uh, uh. So once you're okay, then you come back to the table, second graph. Can you see now? It's not 20, 21, 22 already, 20, 30, 40 already. Huh? So let uh, this one go faster. After that, you can now can, can see already where is the value. So it seems to be uh, 40, then still 4168 something, but 50 already 5263 something. So obviously, the answer should be 40 something, like, why not 40 something? Okay, also oh, only 40 something. So, by right, just like you, you keep pressing one, I think you may reach the answer. Already. Okay. But anyway, you know that will be 40 something. So what happens is that now you go back to the table now. I mean, I'll go back to the, just now the table setting now. Then you, this one you change to 40, because it's 40 something. Uh, then the increment, you back to the default one. Uh, uh, so you just uh, <clears throat> move back to the earlier setting, uh, the increment is one. Uh, then you see the table again. Okay. Then after that, you move down until where? Until 47 still cannot, huh? 48 can, the first value, huh? that beyond 5,000. Huh? Okay, so you just tell the marker that oh, the least value for n should be 48.